Just finished up fiberglass in the dash. If you want to see how I done it, I'll put it down in the description. But we finna start dyeing these interior pieces and working on these. Looks like I can remove this piece here. And this piece seems like it'll come out a whole piece. Then I could. He want this spray candy blue. He want me to cover this up. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna spray these A pillars white. So let me start removing these. I'm pretty sure it come out, but we're gonna see. Got this out here. These pieces here, I kind of had to bend them to get them out. But I'm pretty sure I can scrape them back up. I'm going to take them on the inside because I got to remove this in order to get this piece here off. This is the piece I had to take off in order to get this wood grain looking trim off. It's two different tones of wood grain. I think I could flatten this on back out, but I gotta fill this one. Probably fill it with fiberglass. Then I'll be able to paint it. I think I got it pretty much back straight. But how we're gonna fill this section here? We're gonna sand this front area. Then we're going to come back and tape this back area up. We're just going to put a thin strip of fiberglass in there. I think that ought to take care of that. But let's sand it first. Now we'll cut some fiberglass mat for this middle part. I got my piece taped down around the outer edge of it. This is my fiberglass mat. I'm gonna put it on the inside there. But before I do that, I'm gonna use some resin up under it. I got some mixed up, not too much. Take my chip brush, just wipe it on. Then I lay my fiberglass mat on top of this. Simple enough, and I just dab it like this. Soak the fiberglass mat, strengthen it up. We'll let this harden up and move on. Fiberglass mat dry. Now I got me some filler. Just some regular mondo. Then I'm about to spray it on over the top of the fiberglass. That way I can shape it up.
It's dry. Now I take my DA and lock it down so I can start blocking it. I got some 80 grit on it. It looks like I'm going to have to probably put some more fill on it because this low area here, but we'll see. It's pretty much flat. Got a couple of areas here that I need to fill, but other than that, it's pretty much flat. Got it sanded down and blocked. Now I can remove this tape on the back. On to prepping the other pieces that I need to prime on these pieces here. They're in pretty good condition for us to surface. I'm just gonna use a maroon scotch bright. Just scuff these pieces here up. But like these eight pillars in this piece here, where it's rusted and pretty gritty, I'm gonna use some 180 and scuff this up for primer. Now I was thinking about painting this too. I think I'm going to paint this skin to blue. Then I might come back and sand this up and down just for the top. Off so it'll show through. I think I'm pretty much ready to shoot some primer on all my pieces here. I changed my mind by painting this blue because come to think about it, it's going to be up against this here and this is going to be blue. So I might just paint this back black. I also went on to tuck this piece here off. It goes at the top where the sun visor is at. The sun visor, he want me to paint this white also. Got it prepped up. And I got these pieces here staged to be shot with the primer. Also the eight pillars. Primer done dry. It's like a cream color primer. I went with this because I'm going white on a lot of these pieces. I'm going white on this piece and the eight pillars. But all these pieces here are going candy. The first coat of primer started reacting when I was spraying these. But I filled up a lot of. I still got some imperfections. And this piece here, it had some design on it. And the primer somewhat filled it up. So I'm just going to fill it up myself and so I have a smooth finish. And I'm going to put some, just some spot put on it, glazing putty. Then once that dry, I wet sand these pieces. Then I get ready to shoot my can on these. Got a piece of 400 grit sandpaper. And two blocks. That's the spot put it. I put around that design it had on it. I'm trying to fill the imperfections up. These here, I'm just going to block out.
Here's all my candy pieces staged up, ready to be sprayed with the candy. I had to go ahead and put some glazing put on these pieces because I couldn't block out the imperfections. And I taped up this middle part because it's not going to be seen. This here go over it. I'm going to paint this white. I didn't want to seal up the slats. Let's go ahead and shoot the base. that I pull these out the booth then I start prepping up the pieces on paint white painting the dash and all my metal pieces I gotta remove with this metal but I'm gonna paint this when I paint the plastic lower half of the dash I gotta remove the vents the kick panels prep them up the paint and I probably take this out and paint it separate the cigarette lighter not the cigarette lighter but the cigarette with the ashtray I take that out paint that separate also, look like this piece here will come out pretty easy. I remove it and paint it separate. Guess I remove these vents first. Everything disassembled. The vent. On this vent here, I'm just gonna leave it in there because I will have to move this duct here. So I'm just gonna push it back and mask it off. Lower portion of 
portion of the column cigarette lighter not cigarette lighter, I don't know why I am keep saying cigarette lighter but the ashtray I took the glue box out uh, I think that's it but I'll take it on the inside and show you the pieces here are some of the pieces here the kick panels I removed the hood latch from the back side before I start prepping the paint. And on this here, I'll be removing this also. And I'll probably just cover these up here and let them stay black instead of white. I'll be painting the back side of this ashtray. On the front side. This is some visor clip. A little portion of the column. This piece here go inside the glove box. I think that's it. But we'll remove these pieces here and get ready to start prepping them up. Once I got everything disconnected. I went and got me some soap and water. We're gonna wash these up before we move any further. staged up like this here I think I'm leaving in this position so when I start painting I can paint all the way around them without no problem now we're about to scuff them up so the paint will stick even though I got some sand free adhesion promoter not, not saying I don't trust this here but I like to sand everything I'm painting this wet on wet adhesion promoter melts color into ABS PVS and similar plastics but I'm going to sand them anyway. And I'll be using this maroon scotch bright. Some grease remover. I blow it off first before I wipe it down. Also, mask up the ashtray. Not ready to shoot my adhesion promoter. You want to spray your color on first. Well, not first. You want to spray it on while the adhesion promoter is still wet. And the color I'm using is white. So let's get that started.
got everything out here masked up. I'm gonna be spraying the bed liner on this section here because it's metal and it's not textured. And I want it to flow with the rest of this part of the texture. first coat you want to apply the first coat spray it on lightly because if you put it on heavy it could sag and run but after the first coat done flash you can just continue on applying it normal
finished up with the color coat. Laid down pretty good, I think. I had to spray some prime on this side here because where they had sprayed it and it had some different color. It had some candy right here and it had some red because the car was painted red at one time. It had some red right here and it was bleeding through so I had to spray some primer to stop it from bleeding but I think it came out good once I sprayed that primer on it. Now we're going to shoot a satin clear on it. Satin gloss clear. Because it's white. And if you get some fingerprints or whatever on it. A little dirt. You can wipe it off easily. So let's get that started. Finished up with the set and clear. I started thinking, at first I said I was going to tape this up here, but I decided to paint it white. Then I'm just going to take some sandpaper and lightly sand, where it say lighter and lights, then I'm going to clear it. I just got me a piece in a triangle shape so I can get up to it right. I'm just going to lightly sand it. And once I get that black, I'll blow it off. And I'll spray some clear over it. It's been a couple of days since I sprayed everything. Now it's time to reassemble all my pieces. But before I do that, I have to 
glue these back on in place. And I'm going to be using this contact cement uh, wipe some on each piece. Some on this part here and on the back side of this. Also, the lower part of the dash, these go on. Stop.